and Rana Korea Motors is embracing the EV future with help from an unlikely partner. Starting in the second half of 2025, RKM's Busan plant will produce and export pure electric vehicles, beginning with the much-anticipated Polestar 4 PMLS and uh, the agreement forged between Polestar, Geely Group, and RKM marks a significant milestone for the South Korean auto manufacturer. The partnership aims to roll out the Polestar 4, a pure electric vehicle, not just for the domestic South Korean market, but also for exporting to North America. This located with direct access to major exporting ports, the Busan plant is an automotive hub with a legacy spanning 23 years and a workforce of approximately 2,000 employees has been ranked number one in vehicle quality in the domestic market. The plant boasts an impressive annual capacity of 300,000 units and the Polestar 4 was first unveiled at the Shanghai Auto Show in April 2023. The SUV Coupe is a blend of high performance and cutting edge design. It's the fast production car in the Polestar lineup and quite confusingly sits comfortably uh, between the Polestar 2 and Polestar 3 uh, in terms of uh, size and per uh, Polestar 4 comes with the promise of lowest CO2 footprint of any model by the company yet. Uh, the Busan plant is on a mission uh, to slash its CO2 emissions with by 50% by 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality by 2040. This ambitious goal uh, aligns with a, a global push towards greener manufacturing processes, making the Polestar for more a statement on environmental responsibility. Uh, according to Stefan DeBlay, CEO of RKN, uh, the production of Polestar 4 at the Busan plant symbolizes the renewal of Renewal Korea Motors uh, and its ambitious outlook. Uh, it's a partnership grounded in trust and shared values, as echoed by Thomas and Gemma, the CEO of Polestar. He emphasizes the shared focus on quality and sustainability between Polestar, Geely Holding, and uh, RKM, marking this as a significant step in diversifying uh, Polestar's manufacturing footprint.